Wow, Gerald Miller pulling out the big guns. Rumor has it that Gerald Miller is enlisting a guy who knocked out Anthony Joshua as his sparring partner for the Joshua bout. Very interesting stuff. Make sure you guys stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family we work in. Now, things are heating up. Joshua Miller, they're going to fight June 1st. MSG, looking forward to the fight. You know, I, I want to see other fights you know ahead of that like i would have loved to see joshua versus Luis king kong ortiz deontay wilder tyson fury of course versus aj but you know that's not what we're getting but this is intriguing enough at least to me i know gerald big baby miller and he's talking the talk he's presenting a couple of different things that typically we haven't seen joshua constantly met with you know joshua seems pretty chill on his own unless otherwise provoked but in my opinion gerald miller his antics and you know talking about joshua aj's mom and stuff like that kind of got joshua out of character because we're hearing a way more talkative joshua than we've ever seen for any press conference and that's you know no easy feat because dominic brazil did try a little bit of trash talking with aj and it was quickly shut down i don't remember the build-up having so much you know trash talk and nasty words and stuff said to each other even dillian white bad blood with aj dillian white called him a scumbag but for whatever reason it's the gerald miller maybe it's an american thing the way he's approaching him is just the brooklyn way and for whatever reason it seems to be working i i truly believe i'm not saying this is going to indicate the winner of the fight but i truly believe that joshua he is a bit out of his element he's trash talk he's he was like yeah i'm gonna break him down into eight pieces and slice him up and then the disease was spread everywhere and i'm gonna chop his head off and rearrange his you know we we don't really see this volatile side of joshua so he should want to watch that you know in my opinion because some guys have the ability floyd mayweather was really good at it where he would get guys out of their element piss de la hoya off watch de la hoya you know when when ricardo mayorga and especially floyd but see the difference is floyd got a different level of skill you know because ricardo mayorga got beat by de la hoya but the point is de la hoya looked frustrated because de la hoya had to keep up this nice guy role you know so he didn't want to say anything and floyd was taunting him even bringing that up oh he, he want to be like me Motherfucker, I cuss, I, I eat what I want I, I say shit, fuck damn He he wanna cuss like me But he gotta play this nice guy role Can't be two good guys I chose to be the bad guy Fuck it You know, and it was pissing De La Hoya off But he, you know, he had to Stick to the script, so to speak Joshua, you know, he got that switch And that side of him Gerald Miller is bringing it out So, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see How, how this translates into the fight Now what you guys clicked on in the title if you're new to the channel consider subscribing the sun this is where i got the information they reported that gerald miller is going to be flying daniel dubois into fight or spar with gerald big baby miller you guys see link in the description spar treatment miller set to fly brit starlet dubois over for sparring in prep for joshua showdown 30 year old will faced the 2012 Olympic gold medalist at Madison Square Garden, obviously referring to Joshua. Gerald Miller has revealed plans to spar young Brit sensation Daniel Dubois in preparation for Anthony Joshua, the loudmouth American nicknamed Big Baby, takes on AJ at Madison Square Garden, New York, June 1st. Says the 30-year-old has already started his 10-week camp as he bids to shock the world by beating the WBA, WBO, IBF heavyweight king. Miller wants to fly 21 year old Dubois, Britain's next top prospect, over to his Brooklyn gym for hard sparring. You know, and I guess it's an interview. I seen it on The Sun, but I guess it's an interview with Talk Sport. Gerald Miller says, Bigger than me, 
there's no guys bigger than me that's not possible at this point and for Joshua to find guys as big as me that can move like me is not happening because there is none and you know he might have a point because he's 317 six four and a half see Joshua look mad it's mod you know and then he looked a little bit forced in, in this particular um, face off so Miller might have got under his skin now this is what Miller says he says I found a couple guys that's a little taller than me I want to say one name I heard the kid's a badass Daniel DeBall I like the kid I like him a lot I like his energy and I heard he's thumping AJ a couple of times down in the gym as well too so I'm a fan of his me and his team are talking I'm going to see what he brings to the table and bring him to camp Dubois undefeated in nine fights with eight knockouts takes on Raz Kojanu next on March 8th before planning to head out to spar Miller you know this is a <laughs> look at Brock look at Vince McMahon this picture is hilarious right now but um smart move smart smart move I like it from Gerald Big Bay Miller here's a few few reasons why I like it one I rate Daniel Dubois obviously he hasn't really fought the upper echelon I will look forward to his fight with Raz Kajano because I've at least seen Raz Kajano is I seen him in person I went to the Mikey Garcia versus uh, Robert Easter Jr. card and he fought Luis King Kong Ortiz so I watched that fight live I was at the weigh-in he is a big dude you know he's he's a pretty big dude so I want to see how Daniel Dubois does with someone his size even though Luis King Kong Ortiz knocked him out Luis Ortiz to me is a killer and I'd expect that from the talented Cuban boxer because he's you know he has 300 plus amateur fights and he's further along in his career Dubois only has 10 fights so you know even though Raska Jano got knocked out recently by Ortiz I want to see how Daniel Dubois a young you know Olympian or whatever and I guess Dubois sister fights too so that's dope they keep it in the family but I want to see how he does versus Raska Jano and of course former champion former IBF champion Joseph Parker also fought actually he was the WBO champion excuse me Joseph Parker fought Raskajano and that was a tricky fight for him. So I want to see how, even though Daniel DeBoss is just now getting to him, he's also at a younger stage in his career. So it's a good barometer type of feel. And that's his next fight. DeBois is a Frank Warren fighter. I like how they're, you know, they're building him, trying to move him. And I'm anxious to see what he did. But as far as Gerald Miller, smart move. Another reason why I like this move from Gerald Big Baby Miller is because rumor has it that Daniel Dubois was hurting Anthony Joshua and or knocking him out or whatever. I don't know. It's a rumor. I'm sure you guys can do a simple search on Google or YouTube. Try to find the old interviews to get the direct quotes. You know, I'm not going to include all this, but I will cite the sources where I got this information from. But there's rumors circulating in interviews that Daniel Dubois, he seems like a quiet, humble kid. So I don't know how much he's spilling, but rumor has it certain guys have hurt Anthony Joshua in sparring and he's one of them you know Daniel Daniel uh, Dubois David Price is another person I don't know I wasn't in the gym at the time but you know things happen people talk and I like that this is smooth you gotta understand it like I said Gerald Big Big Miller already to me seems like he's kind of winning the psychological battle and getting the psychological edge just pissing Joshua off in general now he's bringing out someone who allegedly knocked Joshua down or out and sparring hurt him you know you would have to kind of wonder who who and what is being said you know if, if this hey I've been in Joshua's gym you don't know what if Daniel DeBois starts spilling secrets you know telling like Joshua's weaknesses you know so it's a it's a strategic move too I believe you know a guy who's rumored to have spar rounds and hurt Joshua there's a strategy there you know because now you don't like what are they talking about so when Floyd started having um after Alex Ariza left the Pacquiao camp and then Floyd kept having Alex Ariza around you know before the fight and stuff so you're like wondering, damn, what is Alex Ariza? Is he telling Jim secrets or weaknesses or things he's seen? You don't know what people are saying. So I think me personally, I'm not trying to look too far into it, but I also think it's a um, strategic move. As far as Daniel Dubois, he didn't actually confirm it, but this is his verified Twitter, as you guys seen. 
and the same article that I seen that I just went over that will be linked in the comment section. He just put a fist, you know, it says Miller set to fly Brit Starlet Dubois over for help and sparring, you know, and he just put a fist. So it sounds like this is something that they're trying to push through for the record, you know, just uh, full disclosure. Daniel Dubois did help Povetkin, Alexander Povetkin. He went to Russia to help him in his training for Joshua. Povetkin started off good, but it ended up getting knocked out by Joshua. So, you know, sparring, sparring. You know, I know some people, I don't know if you know, but I know my boxing. So I made videos about that when it happened and when it was relevant. Some people will bring that up like, oh, it didn't really serve Povetkin much. Like, benefit because he ended up getting knocked out but good work is good work and Povetkin's his own fighter he's pushing 40 Gerald Miller's not you know at that point so it's just all in all oh shit that body shot looked good um all in all I like Daniel Dubois you know so all in all I think he he's he's out here hungry and out here work and he's big man I'd be forgetting how how young he is because he's a big behemoth ass dude you know dynamite ddd he's a big kid you know so gerald miller's gonna need people like that we know joshua this is a smart move from gerald miller you know because daniel dubois is young youthful hungry like i said his sister fights comes from a fight family you know he looks hungry he looks the part obviously he's still learning but he's um he's strong all in all he, he's strong and daniel dubois at a young like tender age he's been in there with top he, look he's with mirish weck right here who's like seven feet tall look how big he looks you get what i'm saying guy that fought klitschko been in there with gerald miller himself you know been in there with pavekin and then now he's sparring daniel dubois daniel dubois worked with pavekin worked with aj and I'm sure he worked with a lot of other people, too. So either way, I don't see how it is not a benefit to Anthony Joshua training, you know, for Gerald Miller, you know, big kid, youthful, hungry, and he might be able to give you some intel. So all in all, it's a good look. Doesn't necessarily determine the outcome, but I like it. I think it's a strategic move, a psychological move. And, you know, maybe depending on what happened, you befriend people when you're sparring. Maybe he starts spilling the beans on Joshua's weaknesses or what actually transpired. It's different. You know, he's not going to necessarily do it on a YouTube video on a camera and put it out there like that. But I've been in boxing gyms and people talk. Trust me. I know some of your favorite fighters that got knocked out or knocked down and badly hurt by other guys in sparring. I know behind the scenes people who have ducked. You know, and the information is not going to come out because I'm not a messy person, but I know a ton of stuff, you know, behind the scenes. But all in all, I like this move. If Gerald Miller pulls the trigger and actually does fly him out, I think it'll be a good addition to camp. And, you know, I'm definitely going to check for um, Daniel Dubois' next fight with Raz Kajano. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Will this help Big Baby Miller by having a guy like Daniel Dubois? And he's also from that country, too. You know, he's also from the UK along with Joshua. So, you know, it, it's just an all in all, it's a good look. UK guy helping the American guy, you know, good look should be a good. I, you know, I actually want to see the sparring, too. I want to see how Gerald Miller does. And Miller brought up a good point was saying like there's not many guys that move like me have the stamina like me throw the amount of punches like me in my size That's true. You know, you could find other guys who are about Joshua's size, you know, six four, six four and a half, six five, six six range that hit hard and box well Because it looks like Daniel Ball is one of them people. This dude look big. You know what I'm saying? He look like one of them people. So, you know I don't know man. I like the heavyweight division I'm irritated with the whole Tyson Fury situation how he's not fighting wilder next when i was 16 my dad was feeding me everything i'd be on full chickens a heavyweight diet so he's been preparing for this moment for a while but i like dynamite daniel dubois let me know what you guys have heard and what you have seen from him 
If you're new, again, consider subscribing to the channel. Heavyweight division is a lot to talk about recently. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.